Hi everyone and welcome to review 9 of the 2015 Newport Beach Film Festival. I've seen dramas, I've seen comedies, I've seen tragedies, I've seen realistic looks at love, and now I've seen a horror comedy. And I would classify this film, which is called Blood Sucking Bastards, as Office Space Meets Vampires. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, I did recognize a few actors in the film. Fran Kranz, I think, is his name from uh, uh, Much Ado About Nothing and The Cabin in the Woods, amongst many other things. Probably Joss Whedon fans will definitely know about him. He's the star of this movie. And, and there's also a big cast. Uh, this is a troupe of comedy guys named Dr. God from Hollywood. And, you know, as I was watching this movie, I couldn't help but think of the films, or at least the one film. And they didn't help that one of the stars of this movie was also in Super Troopers. So I was thinking of the Super Trooper team, Broken Lizard, I believe is their name. It's kind of like that kind of movie. It knows what it is. It's self-aware. It's a lot of fun. It's a little crude, a little raunchy. Uh, and it's all done in one setting. They shot in an office space somewhere, and the, and, and the whole movie... It takes over a few days in this office space as these workers who are salespeople on the phone find out that maybe vampires are controlling their lives and people are dying or becoming vampires themselves. Such a weird original idea that I really enjoyed. I thought it was really entertaining, uh, goofy, self-aware, a parody of itself at times, or a parody of vampire movies, or the whole idea of a vampire. Uh, the whole, I mean, the preposterous idea of this whole thing. And I really appreciate it. It's, it's sad, and we live in a world where parody films are have gone and died. And seeing something like this is not, I would say, a parody film, but uh, has parody elements that I really miss from the genre of the parody of the 70s, 80s, and early 90s. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of funny characters in this movie, a lot of funny banter, funny dialogue that happens between uh, these characters. Uh, it's just, it was a good time. It was a good time in the movies. Yes, there are moments where I, it dragged just a little bit from time to time. You know, it's not a perfect film by any means, but it's less than 90 minutes. And when you see a movie like this, what do you want to do? You want to laugh. And here's another thing. From the, what it looked like to me, this film actually used a lot of practical effects. When you see blood spraying, it looks like it's real blood, and I believe it's real blood. When it's on the characters, all that blood, it's really there. It blew up. They probably had a bomb of some kind, and poof, blood was everywhere. No CGI, though uh, maybe there was. I, I didn't see it. So a lot of great practical effects, uh, great makeup effects, especially for a low-budget film. Uh, so I'm, I would, I love. Uh, hopefully, people have seen this in the horror world. I would love to hear uh, opinions from uh, my friends from We Live Film, Joe Cawell and Mark from The Basement, uh, his spoiler room guy uh, from We Live Film, and I would really like to know if they've seen this film. I'm going to check, check, check out their reviews, because, you know, they really love horror films, and I'd like to hear their opinion about the movie. I really hope this film finds an audience. It got picked up by Shout Factory, and they're looking for a release in September, a limited release. So horror fans out there, I think this is something that you really enjoy. It makes it a, it's a good mix of your horror and comedy. Um, it, it, what else can I say about Blood Sucking Bastards? What a great title. Isn't that a really awesome title for a film? Blood Sucking Bastards. I, I think that's, and I think there's going to be a lot of dialogue uh, from this movie that's going to be repeated by fans. I really, I, honestly, I pray to the movie gods, the horror movie gods, the comedy gods of mo movie making, uh, or movie audiences, that this film movie needs an audience. I mean, and, and hopefully it'll find it in the theater first, and then online, and then on Blu-ray and DVD. I would definitely own this film for a, a cheap price. Uh, and I gotta pay full price for this, but it's definitely worth checking out. It's just entertaining, stupid, uh, silly, uh, great cast. Everybody in the cast uh, mixes so well together. Um, and we actually uh, actually got to meet them all and talk to them. We did some interviews for We Live Film, collab review with uh, 
Derek Easley on We Live Film, and we interviewed uh, some of the cast and some of the people that just came out to support the movie. So overall, really enjoyed this film. I think it's uh, if people who like comedy are going to enjoy it, people like horror are going to enjoy it, and people who like horror and their comedy mixed together, I think are going to love this film. Maybe even think it's one of their favorite movies in that genre. So I'm going to give Blood Sucking Lawyer, uh, Lawyers, <laughs> Blood Sucking Lawyers, that's good. I'm going to give Blood Sucking Bastards, I'm going to give the film a solid three stars out of four. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and share this video. And also, please check out these amazing movie websites. And if you enjoyed this review, please click here to subscribe to my channel. And also, please check out all my recent reviews right here on YouTube. Have a great day. Live film. Find peace, happiness, and harmony in anything and everything you do. And I'll talk to you at my next movie review.